Hey guys, so Lucy hopefully has put up the videos from our filming day the other day by now and if she hasn't I will have to go and pick her up the arse to do so. I thought I'd just fill you in on the past couple of weeks that I've had. So I'm now, there we Friday, so I'm now six weeks and one day post-op which means I am now cleared to basically get up and start exercising a bit more now which I'd started doing anyway. Uh, I needed to, I was getting bored of just not actually doing anything, so at least I know now that I can start getting into it, I could start doing slightly heavier workouts and I don't have to worry so much about my health. Uh, I do still worry about everything that's going on but eventually that'll go away. So it's been a hectic couple of weeks. I've moved into my new house, which is a student house, which I share with two housemates. One being a good friend from uni and the other being her old flatmate from uni. So that's going well so far. It's really nice. We're, all three of us get on really well. We've got our own rooms. We've got a really nice kitchen. Uh, got a nice lounge with a really comfy sofa. Actually, you know what? Do you want a tour of it? Let me give you a tour of it. So, right here, where we are now, I've got to be careful because I obviously don't want to invade people's privacy and show them part, show you guys parts that you shouldn't see. So, for now, I will show you this. This is the study that I'm in right now, and that's my desk. Um, and what happens is there's another desk right here, which is my friends and yeah that's obviously got her stuff all over so I'm not going to show you that and then you've got to go through her room so invasion of privacy I'll just keep it focused completely on myself and then you've got the other friend's door which is just it's just there let me pull that too and um so from here you've got stairs lovely stairs uh it was housemate's birthday she was 21 not 12 putting out there that would be a bit weird so following down here, actually I could just turn the camera around like a normal person. Switch. Oh well, I'll just show you. So uh, we came down those those little steps right there. Yeah. So we're now in the bathroom, which we've got a nice bath, which is lovely. And then you've got the shower, which I've literally just used, so that's why it's all a bit it's a bit stuffy in here. Toilet, towels, yeah, simple bathroom, mirror, mirror, mirror. Um, and then we go downstairs, so you can see stairs, I hope you see stairs, I don't know, I don't know what you're looking at, it could be stairs, it might not be stairs, and uh, we go down, 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 and the heating's on, so it's really hot, so front door, lovely and white, that's exactly what we want, lounge, which, as I said, we've got really comfy, how does this work, corner sofa here, and I've got my stuff everywhere. Uh, I'm in the house alone for the night, so I've kind of just taken over. But you've got a laptop, you've got the TV, my balloons, uh, you've got my keyboard in the corner here, because I had nowhere else to put it. And you go next door, which is literally next door, let me just point that out to the lounge, is uh, my room. And it's a bit of a tip, but let me show you around. So, come in the door, and you can see it's a mess already. Um, so you've got, you've got a wardrobe. I've got a big chest of drawers and I've got like a little weird cupboard thingy which I make the most of. Uh, come in, I've got my uni planner. Yeah, so you could see all that. And then actually that right there is a patio door. Let me open that and show you. So I've got my own door which leads into the garden which is beautiful. I've got my bed which is a mess. Uh, all my books. I've got baby Groot, my favourite pictures. And yeah, so that's that's my room, if you can see it a little bit better, yeah, it's a bit of a, yeah, oh, that's my room. And then I come out of my room, and we go that way, and this way, is we've got a little cupboard, a little cupboard under the stairs, I made a joke that that could be my room. And here is the kitchen, um, yeah, it's a gorgeous kitchen and there's not much light so I apologise for that but this is where I eat uh, more balloons, you can roll that uh, I've got 
We've got all the essentials. I mean, we've got, uh, by the way, the washing machine is on, so that might be a little bit noisy, but we've got cupboards, we've got a dishwasher, which we never use. We've got a washing machine, which I've just started using. It took me forever to figure out how to use it. Um, you can meet Roger. You can meet Roger. Roger doesn't mind having his privacy invaded. Uh, meet Roger. He's our uh, plant. And then, yeah, so nice big dinner table. You got the fridge, actually my shelf. Do you want to see my shelf? Most of it is going out of date stuff, but uh, that's my shelf right there. That's everything. I've got juice, we've got yogurt, some eggs, uh, chicken, cheese, my lacto free milk, because uh, everyone needs, well, I need lacto free milk. And then the way it's worked is I've got three shelves for a cupboard. So I have got a uh, top shelf which has got like all my protein powders and boxes and then you've got the next shelf which is sort of like biscuits and sweet stuff and crisps and no wait that's not that one you get cereals you got crisps um you got a few biscuits that's not meant to be on there you've also got my pasta behind and then you've got my sweet shelf so not that you can see it very well to be honest um but you've got, apart from the coconut oil, we've got fudge, which my housemate kindly brought for me. Biscuits, more biscuits, sugar, coffee, tea, protein bars, hot chocolate, energy drinks. So uh, all the stuff that I need in my life. Um, you've got all my washing up that I still need to do. Because I'm being a little bit lazy and not doing it right now. And so yeah, that's, that's the house. Um... plant myself in here actually it's a little bit easier than heading back upstairs okay so I'm in the lounge this is, this is it um so yeah moved in here uh two weeks ago two weeks ago two weeks ago yeah two, yeah and it's going really well I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying having my own space I'm enjoying being able to just I don't know have some freedom really have some independence I have to do everything for myself and I thought it was going to be really, really draining, uh, especially with how my head has been over the past year or so. I thought I'd find it really difficult, but I'm actually really loving it. It's, it's chilled, which I think I needed. I can basically do whatever I want whenever I want, and I get to spend all of my time with two really great friends, apart from tonight, where they've disappeared. So... I don't know, being being on your own, it does make you a little bit bored, actually. Because you kind of rely on having people there, and then suddenly like, there's no one else there, and you're like, oh my god, what do I do? So I've just been binge-watching TV, and really I should have been doing work, but I haven't done work. That's what the weekend's for, right? So yeah, six weeks post-op, and I will do a little transition bit here and what I might do is a mini transition bit here and in the future when I've gotten a little bit further on I'll actually do a transition video of the whole recovery of my chest surgery because I think that'll be better as a big video for people to just watch on its own but I'll put I'll put something mini here I'm probably talking over it right now and yeah I think I think that would be nice for you guys to see see how everything's come along after six weeks, especially if you don't follow me on Instagram, uh, Instagram I tried to put all of it on there, but you do you do miss quite a lot uh, in between, like pains and twinges and stuff like that. But I still get sort of an odd twinge going across, and I've got a really sensitive patch here, and on my hoodie where you've got your uh, your toggly bits for the hood. Every time I put my jacket on, it just whips straight across my chest, and that's just not cool. So, so yeah, I've been back at uni a whole week now, which uh, has has been draining. That has been a really draining part of it. I'm in my second year now for paramedic science, and it's just it's it's nuts. It's it feels like it's gone on for years, and I haven't only been there a week. Like I don't know. It's not going to be easy, and with everything else going on, with my referrals and everything, it's going to be a little bit 
sorting out where my priorities lie, but it will be good, and I think it will be an exciting year of me trying my absolute hardest not to fail. So, we'll, I suppose we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't know how often I'm going to be able to do videos, as I said, because I live with two other people. Uh, my room has, as you saw, it's just got no lighting whatsoever, a bit like this room, really. The kitchen's the best place to do it, and I was going to do this in the kitchen, but washing machine's going, it's a little bit loud, and the study's alright, but if my housemate's working, I kind of can't be sitting here chatting away, because that's annoying. So, I don't know, I'll try my hardest. I was going to do a video with Maddie at some point, I'm guessing you all remember Maddie. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the proper video, Lucy and I did, if I did I apologise. But yeah, we were going to do a sort of update video because uh, we're not together anymore, which isn't a problem. We're still really good friends, we broke up back in uh, January, so it's been a while now. But we thought it would be nice if we could sort of talk about how our relationship changed whilst I was changing and how she coped with my transition and my changes in mood and changes in uh, physically as well. She lives absolutely miles away so we will get that done at some point but I think it would be nice for everyone to see that even though it didn't work out there's still there was still a good side to it and we've still got a, a really amazing friendship and she's still there for me after everything that we've been through. I'm not sure if I mentioned my weight loss. Did I mention my weight loss at any point? You know, I really shouldn't do these videos because my memory is shocking that I can't actually remember what I've done. But since January, it's gotta be about January, yeah, since about January, that was when uh, the testosterone really started kicking in for uh, changing all of my body fat into different places so you might have noticed I've actually lost quite a lot of chub on my face I mean you can kind of see my facial hair which I, I gave it a proper shave because I wanted to look a little bit neater it was becoming like this really scruffy scraggly hairs everywhere kind of thing so I just gave it a little a little sort out I cut my hair as well which I do myself which is nice and easy since January I've lost roughly a stone and a half not really doing anything to be honest. I think most of it has actually just been the testosterone sorting my body out. I mean, I've been eating a little bit better, but I haven't been exercising really. I mean, I've been doing a few pull ups and press ups when I've been bothered, but other than that, nothing. And, but yeah, I've lost silly amounts of weight off my stomach. Um, I've lost quite a lot of my bum is nice because it was huge my thighs they're still rather large but they you can see how much they have slimmed down now you you're starting to see the veins sticking out of my hands I don't know if you can really see it on there but you kind of a little bit um, yeah can a little bit on that one uh, but yeah I've lost loads of weight on my hands as well. My fingers aren't quite so as chubby as they as they used to be. This ring used to never actually come off and now it just I'm hardly even trying here. It's just yeah. Feet have grown. I can fit nice and comfortably between eights and nines now instead of sort of six to sevens and a bit of eights, which is weird. Uh especially as I have quite narrow feet anyway, that basically means they've just got longer. Which is a weird thought that my feet have got longer, which is probably why I've got more clumsy. I keep walking into everything and tripping over everything, and it's rather odd. But, yeah, so, I felt like I was actually saying something before, and I've completely just, I don't know, this is my memory now. I don't know how I'm going to pass another year of uni, because I just, I can't remember what I'm saying. Oh well. Sure, I'll watch this back and be like, oh, that was what I was saying. But it's gone for now. So, it was nice speaking to you all again, if you can say that. I mean, I've been talking crap out of the camera. So, I shall try and do another video soon. I will find something a little bit more interesting to talk about. I feel like I haven't actually talked about much interesting stuff recently, apart from my surgery, which is pretty damn interesting actually. So I shall speak to you later when I get a free chance to film 
in a nice location where there's a bit of lighting and there aren't people running around and washing machines going off and guitars being played and etc etc so I shall speak to you all soon I think there's drug dealing